This is a perfect problem to use the state plan do conclude approach. So for the state step, we're gonna say we wish to test the following hypotheses at the alpha equals 0.05 level. The null hypothesis is P sub 2017 equals P sub 2014. And the alternative hypothesis is P sub 2017 is greater than P sub 2014, where P is the true proportion of cochia plants resistant to glyphosate. In the plan step, we need to state our inference method and check conditions. So if conditions are met, we'll use a two proportion Z test. Random condition, each sample was randomly selected cochia plants. Independent, with samples from different years, the samples are independent of each other. We also need to check that the plants within the samples are also independent. So as long as more than 610 cochia plants existed in 2014 and 520 in 2017, the 10% condition is met and the plant responses are independent. For the normal condition, we have to have at least 10 successes and failures in each year. And we do at 12, 49, 20, and 32. In the do step, we're gonna use the two prop Z test function on the calculator. And it's gonna ask us how many successes did we have in each of our groups? So a success in this case is a cochia plant that's resistant. So in 2017, we had 20 out of the 52 resistant. And in 2014, 12 of the 61 were resistant. It's also gonna ask us which direction do we want our test to go in. And we're interested in particular in if this resistance proportion increased. So we want 2017 greater than 2014. To do this on the calculator, press stat and go over to test. Scroll down to two prop Z test. And for X1, put the 20 for 2017 successes and the sample size in 2017 was 52. For X2, put 12, and then a 61 for the sample size in 2014. And R1 in this case is 2017. We think that is greater than, or we're testing to see if that's greater than 2014, which is our second proportion. Now, when we click draw, we get this display. It shows us the normal distribution and a test statistic and also a p-value. It's a good idea to copy all of this into your response. Now I have this cool normal distribution stamp. You can get this on Amazon. It's a great gift for your AP stats teacher. So I copied it down in this pink area here is the p-value of 0 0.0136. Now we're ready to conclude. With a p-value of 0 0.0136, which is less than alpha equals 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. There's sufficient evidence to support the claim that the proportion of cochia plants resistant to glyphosate increased from 2014 to 2017. If you liked my explanation of this problem, you might also like my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. The book has 100 problems and every one of them has a YouTube video that explains every single step.